Her friends call her magic, and anyone who wonders why only has to see her play. Nancy Lieberman, number 10, the redhead from Queens who came to Virginia four years ago to put women's basketball on the map. She did it with ease, leading her team to one national title already while picking up almost every possible accolade along the way. Lieberman is more than just an All-American. Last year, she won the coveted Wade Trophy as a junior. That's the Heisman Trophy of women's college basketball. Back as a senior, Lieberman has led her top-ranked club to a 33-1 record, a fourth straight state title, and their one win away from the Final Four. Old Dominion hasn't lost since Christmas, and now in the playoffs, the Lady Monarchs are a definite favorite. Well, I would have to say we are the favorite going into the national tournaments, but the playoffs are very funny. Anything can happen, and we can't afford to look by anybody in one loss, and it's all over in the regular season is over now, the record was great, and we established ourselves, but we can't afford to rest on the regular season. After the playoffs, Lieberman and her senior partner, 6'5", Ing Nissen of Randers, Denmark, are expected to be the first two picks in the women's pro league draft. Lieberman, for one, feels the pros are here to stay. Well, I'm looking forward very much to getting involved with the Women's Professional Basketball League. I think right now, it's having a little bit of problems because there's not enough name players in the league to help keep the interest of the fans up. Fans like to come out to the ball games to see players that they've read about, how they can judge them on their own or enjoy their talents. And Ann Myers can't do this by herself. And I think right now, as I said before, the best players and the best basketball is in college. So I think next year it'll be a complete turnover. And it'll really help establish and give the league some credibility. Any ideas to where you might go? Right now, it's hard to say. They tell me that California's in last place. Milwaukee is down near the bottom, so I think that's the way they uh, run the draft, where the team that has the worst record gets the first draft pick. Have you and Ing decided where one you want to go to? Well, a few people have said if I go one and Ing goes two, at this point right now, I'd probably end up in California, and Ing would end up in Milwaukee. So sometimes I kid Ing and tell her that she'll have to buy some snowshoes. <laughs> she says she's not going to Milwaukee unless they change the climate. Regardless, wherever Nancy Lieberman plays, the gym will quickly heat up. The former Olympian may not make it to Moscow, but she is confident the Pro League will be her showcase of the future. Yeah, we have too many talented athletes coming out of college who are going to play in the pros, and it's going to be a, a business. It's going to be a very, a very good entertainment for the fans. And you know, whereas right now people are getting tired of the pro basketball, tired of and a lot, of, a lot of those kind of pro sports where women's basketball is not a fad and it's not here and then won't be. It's going to be here for a long time to come. And with a little bit of magic, who knows? It may make it after all.